Okay, next we have differential equations. Now this just means any type of equation that involves a derivative. So you have actually already done some of these, but you haven't referred to them as differential equations before. So a dy by dx um, would mean that it was in a first order differential equation. If you were using d2y dx squared, it would be second order, and so on. So the dy by dx, we've used that before in rates of change. Those are types of differential equations. Um, they're, they're of the first order type. Okay, so we have this example. Um, a mouse is 30 grams when it's born, and it reaches full maturity at three months. The rate of growth is modelled by that equation there. M is the mass of the mouse, and T is how many months have passed after birth. We want to find the mass of the mouse when it's fully grown. So we have, we need to work out the mass. So we want to work out m. Now we're given dm by dt, so if we integrate that we can get an equation for m. So integrating looks like this. And then our next thing is to put in the information we've been given so we can work out c. So when it's born, the mass is 30 grams, so when no time has passed, um, m is 30. So if we substitute that into our equation, we can work out that c is 1110. So then working out when t is 3, since we're told that it reaches its, its maturity at uh, 3 months, so it's fully grown at 3 months, so we put in 3 for our time, and into that equation that we worked out before, so it's fully grown uh, mass will be 1110 grams. Now this part of the um, working out there, that there is called the general solution because it's still got that plus C in it. We'll come on to those a bit later on. Okay, another example. We've got an object moving through a liquid um, and it's moving such that the rate at which its velocity is decreasing is proportional to the velocity itself. When it enters the liquid, it has a velocity of 5 meters per second, and that velocity is decreasing at a rate of 1 meter per second squared. So find the differential equation that models this situation. So we're talking about the uh, rate of change of the velocity. So how velocity changes over time, so we can refer to that as dv by dt. We know it's decreasing, so that'll be a negative. And that is proportional to the velocity, and we use that little symbol there to represent proportion. Now think back to equations you did like this um, some time ago. You've probably first came across this in IGCSE. When you have that happening, you can rewrite it as um, dv by dt is equal to some constant um, of v. So the constant we're calling k, and we're just moving that minus over to, to the other side to make things a bit easier to work with. Okay, so when the velocity is 5, we're told that the, um, the rate of the velocity decreasing is minus 1. So that's the information given to us in the question. So then put that into our equation of dv by dt is equal to minus kv. So if dv by dt is minus kv and v is 5, that would be minus k times 5. That's equal to minus 1 which gives us the value of the constant k being a fifth. So we can rewrite the equation that we were looking for. So dv by dt is equal to minus v over 5, or minus a fifth of v 